Hey, it's Aaron, and today I'm with the 2025 Mazda CX-50 Hybrid. The hybrid is brand new for 2025. Uh, Mazda sees where the world is going and is going that direction. Uh, the hybrid system is actually borrowed from Toyota under license, uh, but Mazda did their thing, so this doesn't drive like a Toyota still drives like a Mazda. In fact, if you've driven the, the CX-50 uh, or its brother, the CX-5, you'll know what to expect out of this. Basically, what you're going to get with the hybrid is slightly more pickup from the zero to five mile an hour range, right? That waiting for the turbo to kick in point. Um, you'll get a little more pickup because of the electrics, uh, but mostly what you'll see is just way better fuel economy. So uh, the fuel economy in this, in my testing, so officially, I don't know that there's any numbers out yet. Um, it's November 1st right now uh, when I'm filming this. And as far as I know, Mazda has not released the information that I have seen yet, uh, but I believe it is coming very, very soon. Uh, but anyway, my real world testing of this, I beat the regular CX-50s uh, in this, I use the same loop every time. It's 42 mile loop. I go out and back. It's a freeway loop. Uh, that going back and go, doing that loop mitigates any elevation changes, stuff like that. We are at high elevation here in Cheyenne at 6,400 feet. Uh, but anyway, doing that same loop in both the regular CX-50 and this hybrid model, the hybrid model got really close to 10 miles a gallon better. So uh, that's real world. So I don't know what the official numbers are gonna be, but for me, this is a slam dunk. They did a very good job uh, maximizing the fuel economy without killing the Mazda. I mean, Mazda's fun to drive. Mazda's known for that. They're known for feeling good on the road. This has all of that. They didn't change any of it. So very good job there. Otherwise, what you're looking at is pretty much a CX-50. There isn't a whole lot of difference here. Um, this is kind of a plain Jane color for it. So if you like the regular, uh, you know, everyday colors, this is one of those. There's also some slightly brighter ones. There's packages that add stuff and take stuff off. You can get functional roof rails and uh, cool like matte colors or, or bright colors and, and some, uh, uh, you know, off-road treatment stuff to make it look cool. Um, but Basically, the CX-50 is what it is, and it's a great vehicle for its market. Now, let's talk a little bit about design, uh, because we usually do, and then I think I'll wrap it up, because other than it being hybrid, it's not a whole lot different than the standard CX-50. The CX-50 is pretty plain uh, in terms of you know, they, they didn't go overboard with a whole lot of busyness. So it's, it's pretty what, what's the word you would use for that? Classic? Classy? I don't know. Um, but they did bulge the fenders a lot, so you can see that on the hood, the line for the fender starts way up here, so it creates this visual bulge for, to make it look stronger. Same thing happens in the back. You can see back here, this huge, huge, uh, huge Let's keep saying that, huge. Anyway, this, this huge kind of expansion of the belt line to create this large fender back here. That is what gives it the strength, gives it muscle. Now in your rear view mirror, that does flare out. So you do see it in the rear view, um, unless you adjust out for it. But this part dips in because of that. So you end up with this dip right here, which again, accentuates, 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 <laughs> accentuates the size of these fender bulges, uh, which just, like I said, it, it makes it look beefier. Um, it also gives it a wider track from the front, so when you're visually looking at it from the front or the rear, you see a wider track. Uh, other than that, really simple bone lines here, nothing really special, it's just a, a simple uh, reverse S curve right here, and then this big break down here so that you can have these huge uh, running board rocker panels. They're just plastic, they're not functional in either way, uh, but they make it look taller, 
right? It gives it a little more ground clearance and look, uh, and then gives it uh, just a stronger look again. The whole point of the CX-50 versus the CX-5 is the CX-50 looks more rugged. That's the whole point of this vehicle. Um, so in real terms, it's not necessarily that much more rugged. It's actually about the same. Ground clearance is about the same. Uh, it is a little different in terms of some of its dynamics because uh, wheelbase and stuff are different, but pretty much they're the same thing. Um, Again, the CX-50 is just the more rugged version. The CX-5 is the more contemporary version. You can think of them like that. Uh, anyway, and then you have the uh, roof rails, rails, roof rails, the roof rails, which are always contrasted to the body. So they're usually this chrome look, uh, and then you can get black ones. Uh, the functional roof rails, I remember being black. I, they might, you might have other options, but, that's basically the design language going on. I love the wheels on this. Uh, they're simple, but not ugly. Um, so they're nicely done in that regard. Simple five spoke wheels, uh, you know, it's pretty common. And then with the hybrid model, you will get the hybrid badge. There's also one on the back. That's uh, kind of a thing, it's, it's a blue uh, lettering on the inside. I don't think there's one on front, there isn't. Um, but you do get the hybrid badging here and on the back, so both fenders and on the back. Uh, other than that, that's the design. Uh, interior is very good. I'm going to try to do an interior video. Okay, so that's the new uh, 2025 Mazda CX-50 Hybrid. This has been Aaron. Talk to you again soon.